Hello, trading is closed on January 10th, 2019. Let's go over our calls. We said unless we kept over these high, the pattern was negative and lower prices should print. Got those early. We said this high was a reasonable candidate for the end of the leg. We said, we said going past it by a penny or so wouldn't disturb me. But otherwise, there was a good chance that was it. Went past it by two handles. Two dollars isn't a penny. So officially, the stop was hit. And the question is, are we going to keep going higher? Or is that it? Yeah, I think we'll know early tomorrow, but we'll go over that in just a minute. The general idea that there's a top in this area, as far as I'm concerned, remains unchanged. Early on, MJT should ultimately lower and higher price that we print. Usually when you see these in the same pattern, the day is wishy-washy. You don't usually get sustained moves like this. When you do, they have a tendency to retrace quickly. We're still looking for the ultimate sell signal to work. 95% chance we see this number before tomorrow's close. Not 100, but that's pretty good. Ultimately, this should print. In the afternoon, this whipsaw was said this was false, this was false. Now it says this was false. We'll retrace to this line most likely by tomorrow. So we have a number of lower targets. We have bullish and perish signals conflicting signals you know what that means commonest thing is a gap and prompt move outside the range next most common close will change have the big move monday least common by a large margin either of those things happen it is bullish we started low went up all day closed near the high over all these highs that's bullish almost always the rally continues tomorrow's pattern i believe is the one with the early low and the late high tends to be a bullish day unless you move down early on. So those are bullish things. What's not bullish is we have all these targets from EJT saying we're going to retrace and most likely fairly soon. In addition, we've been making an ABC up. We don't think it has more to go. A and C are normally equal, but they don't really have to be. They don't have to have any FIB ratio at all, but usually they do. If that's A, we can now get C at 88.66%. It's a FIB number. It's the square root of 0.786. It's really pushing it, but it's not impossible. That number doesn't happen very often. Now, this was the count we had. It's still a valid count if this is an expanded flat. So if we drop pretty soon, you just say it's an expanded flat and you don't worry too much about it. Let's remember that for months I was saying this low was this high. This high was going to hold. Went slightly past it, made a little higher out of me, and then we got the big drop I said was coming. My suspicion is the same thing is going to happen here. It goes slightly past this. We'll talk about how slightly in a minute. And then a big drop should be coming because the targets to undercut this low in the 2440s. And when you have a straight line move up like this, then you have a handle which doesn't correct first. It's an unsustainable pattern. Typically, when you break through this line, the line holds. And the party's over and you drop. It's held, but we're going over this high. So now for confirmation, you have to undercut this low, ideally quickly. What's not good about the pattern is this whole thing is overlapping. It's not part of overlapping moves tend to correct. You also said this move up from here has to retrace at some point. Now, how high could we go? Well, it's tough to be exact, but here's a daily chart. I think it's likely these trend lines hold. They cross next um, Tuesday. And I think before then, we should start to drop. This whole rising wedge pattern is not a healthy one. 
terms of price, here's your 10 week moving average. You can see on the way up, we don't go below it much. On the way down, we don't go above it much. And that's not even 1% over where we are now. So in terms of time and in terms of price, I don't think we have a lot more left here, even though this is a few points higher than I thought we were going to go. So tomorrow, we have mixed indicators. I would hope to see a quick move down in these numbers print. But even if we go up, I don't think we'll go too far or for too long before the big drop starts. And that's today's call.